A Conte crayon is a cuboid shaped drawing stick used by artists. Depending what part of the crayon contacts the paper, different types of marks are made, sharp lines with a corner, broad lines with an edge, and wide textured fills using the side. Artists also use their fingers to blend the strokes, even while still holding the crayon. We created an input device which directly references this crayon. We also call it Conte. Like the crayon, different contacts have different modes. For example, an edge for shape recognition, a corner for freehand drawing, and with a quick roll from edge to corner, handwriting recognition. Other types of contacts activate tools or commands, such as stamping the end for contextual copy and paste. Our Conte prototype works on a conventional diffuse illumination multi-touch table, such as the Microsoft Surface. The type of contact, as well as position and orientation, are all detected using the pattern of infrared light emitted from the corners of the stick or reflected from the white-colored sides. Details of the algorithms are in the accompanying paper. Building your own Conte stick is not difficult. After making two polished acrylic blocks, you embed infrared LEDs with heat, wrap them in foil, paint them, join them together with resin to create a stick, then wrap it all in paper and cut out the corners to let the light out. We've made many prototypes, some with external tethered batteries and others which are self-contained. When debug displays are off, performance is at least as good as standard multi-touch. An obvious application for digital Conte is to paint in a way reminiscent of a real Conte crayon. Different contacts can make different types of marks. Thin, thick, large fills. Contacts could even be assigned different colors. But even more interesting is to use Conte to enable new types of interaction techniques. For example, different modes can be seamlessly changed with one hand. By default, the corner draws. But by rolling from the short edge to the corner, the lines are interpreted as text. Rolling back returns to draw mode, and the short edge is used to draw perfect shapes using shape recognition. Here shapes on the right are drawn with a corner, but shapes on the left with a short edge. Finally, the medium edge performs lasso selection. And by tucking Conte in the palm, same hand touch can be interleaved. Laying Conte on one side reviews attribute palettes. The desired palette can be selected with the same hand and attributes applied with the other. Multiple palettes can also be peeled off of Conte and then positioned on the drawing surface using touch. Once peeled, they remain accessible even if Conte is lifted, as is typically done to perform other drawing tasks. When no longer needed, the palettes can be simply picked up again. Laying Conte on the other side creates a mouse-like mode to reach distant locations or to enable precise selection. The thin side creates a guideline with a thumb adjustable snap angle. A finger pins the guideline and keeps it visible after Conte is lifted. When done, guidelines can be easily picked up and removed. This also acts as a drawing object alignment tool. With a tap for center, left swipe for left align, and right swipe for right align. Contacting the end reveals contextual commands with orientation selecting a default. Here, horizontal selects copy, vertical selects paste. Defaults can be accessed without showing the menu. Touching the menu selects an alternate command and sets a new default. Now, horizontal selects cut. With Conte's style of one and two-handed multimodal input, weaving these different interaction techniques together into a single application creates a new kind of fast and fluid multi-touch experience.